If you want to undervolt your RTX 5070 Ti to get more performance, we can actually match the performance of an RTX 5080 by doing this right. And at the same time, getting lower temperature, lower power consumption, lower noise, and even fix the coil wind. This is the right video for you. So welcome back at Emotion PSUs with my RTX 5070 Ti undervolting guide. Now, a few disclaimers before we get started. So this is gonna work for every single model of RTX 5070 Ti out there. So it doesn't matter the brand, how good the model is. You can get the cheapest one or the most expensive one. It's gonna be the same. What I'm using here today is a pretty special card. It's an MSI RTX 5070 Ti SOC launch edition Vanguard. It's one of the best out there, but I tested for this video 10 different cards from the cheapest ones I could find to this and it's gonna be the same of course with a little bit of difference which I'm gonna tell you throughout the video the only thing I ask you guys is at the end of the video if this is gonna be helpful please drop a like and subscribe but after the video has ended so for this tutorial we're gonna need two pieces of software MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark I will leave both of them down below in the description now I'm gonna be using the beta version of Afterburner but tutorial works the same with the stable final version okay it's the same the beta version has a different interface it looks slightly different but i am using it on purpose because if you go ahead and on my channel you watch my rtx 5080 undervolting guide well there i am using the standard version and here i'm using the beta version so either one of you guys you can cross-reference how it looks and it's going to be easier for you to follow i think but uh, with that said Let's get started. Let's start undervolting. Okay, so here we are with our softwares. So first thing we need is to open up MSI Afterburner. Now, again, I have the beta version, so don't be scared. In case you wanna change it, here's how you change the interface. You go into settings, you go all the way to the left on interface, and you can basically put uh, the cyborg skin, which is like the old one, and uh, you can get the old one back if you want, but uh, I'm doing this on the beta version on purpose just because I want you guys to be able to follow along if you want to use this as well, okay? So, minimize Afterburner after opening it, and now let's open Heaven Benchmark. Now, you want to run it with these settings. So, quality on Ultra, Tessellation on Extreme, Anti-Lasing on X8, and Resolution, you want to run 2560 by 1440, okay? Even if you have a 1080p monitor, run it. Now, you want to press the Windows key and open up Afterburner again, which is going to be minimized down below. And here we are. Now, with Heaven Benchmark running on the background, you want to open up the Curve Editor, which is going to be over here. And we now want to get started. Now, the first thing we need to do, so no matter which undervolting profile you guys choose, is to unlock your power limit. Uh, this is not going to actually increase your power consumption, it's just going to avoid bottlenecks. Okay, so just unlock it and hit apply. I'm gonna give you guys three presets as usually. If you've seen other one of my videos, it's always the same. So the first preset is gonna be the best, best balanced one. So it's gonna be best performance, uh, best efficiency, etc. But then we're gonna have one only for performance and one only for efficiency. So you wanna go ahead and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point right here and go all the way up on the curve, grab it, and you wanna hold shift and bring it all the way up until you are just slightly under 2800, okay? Slightly under, I recommend uh, probably 2750, but listen, let's do 2798. So exactly under 2800, okay? At this point, you wanna click on the void, hold shift and select the right side of the curve and flatten it down like this. Now you wanna hit apply over here. And our card is now gonna run at 2780 megahertz roughly, and at 900 millivolt voltage point. Now, to get extra performance, literally free performance, we wanna go on the memory clock and put this one, click here, on 1500. Hit enter, hit apply, and our undervolt is actually done. So if you want, you can close the video right now, maybe drop a like and subscribe, and that's it. But on some cars, this is not gonna be stable because 900 is a pretty aggressive point. So if this is not stable for you, what you wanna do is reset it and do the same thing at 925. So 925, you grab it, hold shift, bring it all the way up, around 2800, flatten out the curve, all the way down, hit apply, unlock the power limit, memory clock, 1500, and it's gonna work even on the worst card out there. I've tested a lot of these cards. On the other hand, if you're really lucky, you may be able to get away with 875, at 2800 but you need to be very lucky this card i have here today does it but a lot of cards can't do it on the memory same thing 1500 is very conservative most cards can do 2000 flat 
do not go over 2000 because it's giving out ECC error correction and basically you're losing performance even if you're going higher. So 2000 is the, is the maximum, but literally on 92% of cars, real statistics, you can max it out to 2000, okay, and be happy. Second preset. So in case you want just performance, what do you do? So first of all, you unlock the power limit again. Then this time we go ahead and grab the 975 millivolt voltage point right here. And we do the same procedure, but this time we raise it to 3000 flat. And now select the rightmost part of the curve, flatten it out, hit apply. Now, if you're doing this, trust me and give it 2000 the memory because it's going to be stable. Okay. For most of you, but if you want performance, it's going to be the best, but again, test it out. Sure. You may be unlucky and do 1500, but 2000 is going to work for most of you guys. 1500 is conservative. This is going to be a nice 3000 megahertz at 975. But if you want 3000 megahertz and you want to be a little bit more efficient on some cars on actually quite a bit of cars, if you're slightly lucky, you can do 950 for 3000 megahertz. But here is what is most interesting on a lot of cars I've tested. Okay. And this is better than on the RTX 5080 number wise, you can do 975 or okay. Maybe 990. Uh, which basically to catch it, you can go all the way over here, try to click one and you will, it will appear the voltage point down below. So for example, 990 on the car they have here today, you raise it all the way up to 3200, which is like really high. Okay. And then you flatten it out and this is going to give you a massive performance boost. We are talking RTX 5080 performance levels. So we just apply it and then we go ahead and give it uh, plus 2000 over here, power limit unlocked and apply and we are happy. Last preset and then we are out is going to be the efficiency one. So if you want the maximum efficiency, uh, you're looking at around where this curve changes in slope. Now, without boring you with mathematics, 850 is going to be the best. So 850, you want to raise it to around 2600. Okay. So we go ahead and we raise it all the way up to 2600 over there. Now we flatten it out on the right side and we hit apply. Now hear me out. Usually we, we can go a bit lower if you're lucky, right? But if you saw how the curve is, you will understand that we are basically near the edge already. So you can try 825, but on a lot of cars, you are going to lose performance, even if it's stable because the car is not going to run right. This is just my experience. So 850, 2600 is going to be good if you're unlucky maybe 875 at 2600. And now if you just want efficiency, you don't need to up the memory, but uh, I still think it's free performance. So I would do just 1500 and be happy over here too. And yeah, still unlock the power limit, even though it's not needed, but unlock it either way. Now, how do you save these settings to make them start with windows and uh, start automatically with your PC? So you go and save over here, you save it on one, you click on one, you click apply, then you click on here, which is the windows icon. Then you go into settings and you go start with windows, start minimized, apply. Okay. And we are done. This is going to work automatically every time you boot your system up, which means that the tutorial is actually over. And uh, if it was helpful, please remember your promise and drop a like and subscribe. And again, I have a video for every single CPU and GPU out there. Also RAM and it's all on my channel, undervolting and overclocking. So maybe check it out and I wish you guys a very good day. Bye bye.